Hello and welcome everyone to the channel. Today I am unboxing the DJI Pocket 2, which is a gumball handheld camera, all in one. This is the box. And so far it doesn't feel that heavy. I'm gonna first try to weigh the box with every so the package, the whole box, before um, unboxing it, before opening it. And let's put this one here. Now this weigh 257 grams, which is equal to 9.07 ounces, which is equal to 0 0.567 pounds. All right. So this is the box. I'm going to get the cutter and then just try to open the wrap in here. side and let's look at this side here actually this side oh no actually this side all right so just opens like this actually all right Okay, here there is the activation process, how you can activate it. So you have to actually connect your smartphone first with it. And there are like two different connections to smartphones. And then you have to um, install the DJI MIMO app in order to activate it. Okay. So I'll remove these foam packaging elements. Let's just wonder if I thread this out or maybe I can first see what well, just like take a look at this one here. Still one more thing, I think that's it for this part. And here okay, removed this part here. So this is, looks like uh, you know, can put this around your hand while using it, not to drop it. This is the USB connection, USB C, USB A connection. I think the connection for the bottom. Uh, 
and these are the um, adapters to connect with your smartphone. Okay, this is the joystick. So this is for the iPhone and this is for as if the USB-C that you can use for Android. So the package actually comes with both connections. So here you would need to slide this out and in my case I have an Android so I would have to slide this in and turn it on and then activate it. Before doing that uh, and actually after that afterwards then you can slide in this joystick in this place. So. If I do this now, and I want to now weigh this Pocket 2, DJI Pocket 2, as it is now like this. So considering that it has been already activated, how heavy it would be. So if I move all of these to the side. Pocket 2, it weighs only 260 um, pounds, sorry, 0 0.26 pounds, which is equal to 118 grams, which is equal to 4.17 ounces. All right. So I'm going to slide this out and... Now, um, let's slide this in, the adapter for the Android. I will remove these stickers. This is, you know, these are um, protective shields for the screen and for these parts here, for the lens. for the sides and this is the power button it's cool. you know, just mention here power button now we know this I'm gonna now try to activate it with my Android all right so I've actually went to this QR code that comes with this guide so you can go there scan it and then download the DJI Mimo app. So I just downloaded the app and now it's on my phone, on my Android phone. And I make sure that I have the USB-C connection there, inserted there. You can do it like that. So just insert it like this. And now let's follow this step by step. So first we download the app, that's the first step. Now the second step, we need to turn on the device. So I'm gonna hear. Um, all right. So now it's on. It says no SD card. We're gonna see soon um, the storage options for this one. Um, and now let's do the third step here of connecting the device with the phone. So let's keep this one there under our eyes. And this is the device, and I'm going to now do this. So it says now slow charging for faster charging, use supported charger. Make sure the cable is not damaged. Don't show this again. It's okay. 
DJI MIMO, allow DJI MIMO to access DJI Pocket. I'll say okay, and then say here, always open DJI MIMO when DJI Pocket is connected. Okay. Then I'll click here on agree. After, of course, reading all of the points. And then here, um, let's see. So activate DJI Pocket 2. Okay, the device DJI info. Okay, I can just click here next. Not authorized to access DJI device info. You have not authorized DJI to access your DJI device information, etc. I'm going to say enable. So DJI, get DJI device info. So I should have actually um, turned this, enabled this. So I'm going to click on next. After login, uh, activate. So log in. And I'm going to log in with my email and uh, information and password. And after logging in now, we have this. We can see the app as you have it right there. So nothing special. So just requires you to log in. And let's see, we can go to device maybe. And let's see here how we can now activate the device. So it says searching. Uh, maybe uh, I need to turn it back on again. Okay. Search again. Let's see if it can be found. Okay. It looks like it has found something. In terms of use, you have to read all of this, of course. All of this. All right. Agree. Then activate. Click on this one again. Next. So this is my email address. I'm going to say now activate. Keep the app open and don't leave the current page during activation. So I'm activating and looks like so DJI care refresh. I want to maybe skip this one. Um, activation successful. Notice for beginners. Let's see we are now beginners <laughs> supposedly. Okay, so we here we need here to uh, insert an SD card, okay, and it should have this kind of symbol, this three um, next to micro SD, in order to, for it to work. This is a compatible one with the GI Pocket Two. Um, so it says insert a micro SD card before shooting. It is recommended to use a micro SD card maximum two hundred fifty six gigabytes with the UHS speed grade three rating not included. So this is not included with the device. So be careful when you buy this product, the DJI Pocket 2, you still need to buy the micro SD card in order to um, record on that SD card. Otherwise you cannot record anything. So first we have to insert that one. Then you have to click on uh, the power button. So press and hold to power on or off. The camera will face towards the user after powering on. Press once the switch uh, once to uh, switch between video and photo mode. Return to previous menu. Press twice to recenter. Press three times to switch the camera between facing toward uh, forward and backward. Press and hold to power the uh, on when Pocket 2 is powered off. The camera will face forward after powering on. So this is uh, explaining about the joystick and how it works. Press once to take a photo. Uh, or to start or stop recording, return to camera view. Adjust the gimbal's tilt manually or use the virtual joystick on the touch screen. Switch, uh, swipe the touch screen to access more features. For better audio quality, don't block the microphone when recording video. And these are the microphone points, basically, that it's better not to block them. So this is one here. And this is another one here. And there's also a third one right here, actually. I don't know if you can see it. But there's also like a small kind of hole inside of the body. Um, and then here, um, the de detachable base can be removed by pulling down as shown, uh, down as shown as can be replaced with the DJI Pocket 2 tripod mount included and uh, or do it all handle 
not included. So the do all handle actually is the what comes with the combo package basically. And this is not the combo as, as I said previously. This is only the basic DJI Pocket 2 without the combo. This is how we can insert. So the DJI Pocket 2 uh, mini control stick can be used for gimbal movements and zoom control. And finally, you can check out the tutorials and other fun techniques in DJI Mimo. Done. Device disconnected. Device disconnected. Check device and tap OK to return to home screen. Oh, maybe I should, maybe should like. Uh, okay, it looks like. One connected again. Okay, so now we need to. Uh, uh, we need to insert now the SD card. So I'm gonna now disconnect the phone. Okay, and that's it for activating the device. Now I'm gonna turn this off like this. I will take this out. This is the connection with the phone, the USB-C one for Android. Don't forget that you have this one for iPhone. And now comes the time to talk about the SD card. And this is the SD card that I bought and it's it's following uh, what DJI recommends. So it's a ScanDisk micro SD um, type three. I don't know if you can see it like really small there. Um, and it's 256 gigabytes of storage and it has a uh, uh, speeds up to 170 reading so 170 megabytes per second for reading and 90 megabytes per second for writing so this is the one and now also let's open it and insert it into the device so it says maybe you have to cut this line there Actually, this one there and take this out and this is an adapter for micro sd uh micro sd hc and micro sd xc so the only an adapter but this is the micro sd card um let's maybe make a small size there to open it get it out okay so this is the micro sd 256 gigabytes that is actually compatible with the um dji pocket 2 and now we have to insert it here and be careful with while inserting it you would have to actually have these this side the back side facing you and not the front side with this screen on this side okay so back side of the sd front side the screen side of the dji pocket 2 and this is the small slit for this to get inserted so you do this you enter it and then you push it all right and now that we inserted the sd card the micro sd card now we can also slide this here so you see always like understand what's going on so these are the pins that should also match these ones right so i have to just have them in this direction okay and now it's ready to go so if i now turn it on okay so it's now facing the camera actually as you can see and now we can see that you can see here there's the SD card it's small there saying 237 gigabytes so also as expected less than 256 exactly gigabytes of storage and um, yeah uh, I really need now now to play with it to yeah 
uh, start recording. So this is a quick um, unboxing and activation of the DJI Pocket 2, as you can see, with the SD card. And um, I hope that you liked the video and you found it helpful to you. If you have any questions, please, please feel free to ask your questions in the comments below. And if you like this video, give it, give it some th thumbs up, please. And um, if you like to see more videos, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next videos.